Right guys, in this video today, I'll be showing you how to connect the Logitech G923VL to the gaming PC. So guys, we're going to flip the wheel over and check the connectors. So in total, you've got four connectors to connect. You've got your power cable, you've got your pedals, you've got a USB cable that's coming out the wheel, and then you've got a shifter cable that you connect. And then once you've done that, you could route it around this thingy so that it's a neat fit. And then you could route it through these. Right. So once we've connected the cables, we can mount the wheel to the table. Right. So it's got some mounting brackets on it. So once we've connected all the cables, we could mount it to the table. So to do that, we've got a mounting brackets on the wheel. All we got to do is tighten it from here. And once it's tight, you just push that in. <laughs> Same with the rudder, you've got two of them. So yeah, twist that around. Once it's tight, you could just push it in, just like so. Once we mounted our wheel to the table, we could mount our gear shifter. So this one's got two brackets and a clamp on it. You've got two brackets that you need to tighten down. Then click them in like so then you've got one clamp on the bottom that you could just tighten down like so now this thing will not move there you go so once we mounted the wheel to the table we could head over to the pc and put in the usb in so once it's all plugged in the wheel's gonna calibrate itself just like so so once we've done this all, we need to head over to the Logitech website to get the drivers for it. Right guys, the next step is to download the Logitech G923 software off the website. So you click on the website, click on support, click on downloads. Then it's going to come up with this. It's asking you if your wheel is the Xbox version or the PlayStation version. So mine is the PlayStation version, so I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to come up with the software, it's the Logitech G Hub software. So you click on download now and it's downloading. So you just wait for that. Once that's done, you click into it. So guys, once you've downloaded the software, you can then install it. So you click on install. Right guys, once you've installed the software, you will see this. Now you can click in this and check the wheel settings. So you got your wheel settings here, you've got your pedal settings, and then you've got button assignments. So if you want to change any of that, you can do it through the software. So once we've done all this, you could head over and play the games.